Hello world, my name is Tim Ruswick. And I'm Rick Davidson. And we're going to talk about what makes it work. This game is called Gunpoint, and I've never played it before. I looked it up just now, Tim, and uh, it was released in 2013. It's so a little dated. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a little but. dated, but let's, let's look at it anyway. It's cool. There's a mood here. It's rainy. I just got thrown out of Where are window. you? Where's your character? He, he's down here. He's a little little guy. Actually about oh. to call you about something else, but now I'm more interested in this. We'll try. What do you need? My name's Selena Delgado. My boss Rook says you're some kind of freelance spy. I might have a job for you. Want to come up? Oh, sure. that's cool. It's cool that the text box moving. I'm, I want to look at that character walking around, and I don't want to have to look somewhere else. Oh, like down the. What are you doing down there? There's text down the bottom of the screen, so it's, yeah, it's drawing my attention. As I walk. Oh, okay. So it's like so the some things, things are saying. Like if you highlight, it gives you the intel down the bottom. I really liked that it was following the, the character, more of a tooltip style of thing. Yeah, I actually feel like this stuff down here could follow the mouse, you know, like, oh, a, mm. uh, oh whatever. But I think, oh, okay, What do you so, do in this game? So you take the mouse and you, you do stuff. I'm figuring out with you. <laughs> We're going to figure this out. Like I had heard of this game, but I've never played this game. For, so. First of all, that is cool. Whatever you did just then, as a very first thing you do in the game, the fact that you leapt onto the wall and stuck the wall. <laughs> it's it's pretty intuitive. Wall. So this comes up when I hold the mouse button, this little yep. uh, stuff, and then I can hop and climb like Spider-Man. He, okay, he's a spy though, right? With the trench coat. And he's either a spy or a flasher. So we'll Yeah, <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> We're not sure which. Uh, I'm gonna get in the elevator, I think. So and right. there's one bit of information. What is that? Rook, Rook, Book. Right What's here. That word? Yeah, I, yes. I think it's a company or something. Okay, right, so there's one bit of information. A couple of doors. All right, I'm. <laughs> I can't figure out how to open the doors. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's a good start. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is good. If if you're watching anyone at home making a game, if you're watching someone play your game and they can't figure out how to do something, you normally get. Well, I reckon about a minute of them being like, I want to I want to solve this. This is cool. I don't know what to do. I want to solve it. After a minute, they'll be like, ah, oh, this is dumb. I don't know what to do. I, I'm not enjoying it. So we'll see how Tim goes. <laughs> I, I predict you've got a minute before you're like, ah, oh, I can't open the door. I'm done. So when I hover over this, it says a breakable window takes a strong jump to smash it. So I assume I got to go up okay. there, but I don't know how to jump in the window unless like okay. I... Can you go up the top and like Spider-Man down the other side and scare that person over there? Like, hello. I'm Whoa, what? Just, just, just what's he, jump what's he made there? out of? He's Bionic Man. I will say though, like, even though I'm confused <laughs> about what to do, the, the way that this all works and the jumps and the up and down, it does feel pretty solid. Okay. Like, I so don't feel like he's doing something I don't want him to do. I just it's feel a like puzzle I don't game, though. Doing. It's a puzzle game though, right? So right at this point, I, I'm starting to feel as a player, okay, there's a puzzle here. I'm, I wouldn't be frustrated by I don't know what to do because you've got still, you've got movement. It is a bit weird that you're on the window and the person's like, hello, <laughs> hello, yeah. spider spy. I'm trying, like my thing goes in too. So like when, like my jump, oh, maybe yeah. I can go to this side and jump through. Let me try that. So I think, well. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. if, so I'm go behind my head. That'd be so frustrating if you did actually, you know, if you died or you had to reset or something. I yeah, jump from behind that guy. Oh, I gotta I gotta get up there, I think. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna get this. I promise you. I'm good at video <laughs> this games. Is, this swear. is our best at some point we're gonna we're gonna reach the what makes it work uh insight right. in this game i like i like that it went straight into the game that was cool when you booted it up it's just like boom first level and yeah. uh the instructions seem fairly minimal so this has been the theme of all the other conversations we've had so far that i really like when the players treated clever like yeah figure out what to do like w it's a puzzle game down. there you go ah so so uh, one of the things oh. i realized okay. oh they're on the oh do, what Oh, oh, dude! He just uh, he, he blam, he blam, blam, <laughs> blam, blam, and walked away. Okay, were you one... locked during that little sequence, or could you still? Did you have still? Have I could movement? move, but I was I was focused. So one of the things yeah. I realized. So I'm running around, and as I'm running around, these tooltips don't show up. They take a second mm. to fade in. Okay. So that... as I'm moving, nothing actually shows up, which I can understand why that's there. But as someone that plays like I do, it's like oh. Well, okay. I would have that in the first level. I would have that come up immediately. 
Because you don't want to have that all the time. You know, every door you run past, it's like, here's how to use a door. After you do it once or twice, I know how to use a door. Uh, right. But the first couple of times, you probably want to have that a little bit more explicit. Right. So now I'm seeing that I can interact with all this stuff and interesting. Although it was ways. really cool. I love the discovery moment. You go being like, oh, this is, oh, up and down. So, and it was a little longer than a minute, maybe two minutes, but we were kind of waffling on a little bit. So, yeah. And, okay. So this makes a little more sense to me. So, what do those buttons do? The handprint scanner, only the guards can use it. So, I, oh. my first instinct too, because this stuff highlights, was to click. Mm. So, I'm trying to click on it, but I need my little dude to interact with it. Uh, which makes sense. Is that another door? You can't really go in that one. This says it's a handprint scanner and then it opens a door. Closes if anything activates it. But I think... Oh, secured. Oh! <laughs> Skills. <laughs> Didn't see me. Oh, you're in... Uh, well, who's going to come and get you? Can I? Yeah. Well, the guard. Maybe the guard needs to open the doors. Wait, why did, the, why did that okay. open? I don't know. But we're going to get in and we're going to go up. Hello, Mr. Bond. And now we're here. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do up here, but we can go see about this Whoa, guy. Make sure he's alive, or just I follow was... the bad guy. Yeah, follow the bad guy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. That's that's quirky. Congratulations on purchasing your new Bullfrog brand hyper trousers. Caution: <laughs> maximum strength jump may shatter glass ceilings, windows, and children. Oh. Oh, cool. So a lot of games. Well, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, and then title. A lot of games will get there and say, welcome to the game or the level. Here's your first cool tool, technique, weapon, whatever. Go use it. And they oh, I've got this thing. You go use it. But there was discovery there, which I quite liked that I was asking the question, why can you jump around? Why are you Spider-Man? And then we find out just after that, because you're wearing what, super pants? wearing your happy pants so you can do big jumping. You're focused on the dialogue. Conway, I'm trying to... <laughs> okay. I think I was watching the audio too because the audio got pretty loud. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I can't just... Yeah, for viewers at home, I can't hear the audio. So if I'm yabbering over the top of important dialogue, just tell me to stop. All right, so now I got to take missions. So that's the way this works. Okay. Except on the top of this building is a bank of servers with your computer nearby so we can start the mission. Okay, that's cool. Let me, uh, let me turn this down a little bit. Okay. And a little bit more. Are you normally a puzzle game guy? There's some puzzle games that I enjoy. Um, I would. I don't go out of my way to seek them out. I don't think. Mm -hmm. So. I think, okay. Yeah, I think like there's a there's a niche of players out there who really want to want to be stumped and that they want to have a puzzle that really challenges them to figure things out. I think there's a lot of gamers. Well, holistically, I think gamers like to have challenge where they have to figure things out. A little bit of challenge. You know, do you do A or do you do B? Mm, I think it's A. Oh, it was A. I feel clever. Uh, and the challenge, I think, in this sort of game is finding the sweet spot. Because for me, yeah. I lose patience with puzzle games really fast. The Witness, I, I like this pretty game. But uh, after a while, I'm like, oh, oof, just tell me where to go. Yeah. Just tell me where to click on. This is this is hard work. Okay, so I can hack this. I can, I can read their stuff. Oh, yeah, you hack it, man. You I've heard grumbling good. lately some officers about your private security since we merged with cities' largest security firms. Okay, copy and close. All right, so I think that's, that's just kind of like in-game lore stuff. Mm -hmm. Some people dig it. I, I like that it seems a little bit optional. You can just skip it. I'm a skipper of these things. Yeah, so me too. I'm like, yeah. You've got what you need from this terminal. Okay, so I can just Jump YOLO the it. Oh, man. Oh, Come on, give me a... There we Where? go. <laughs> there we go. That is a really cool way to end a level jumping out the window with your spider pants on. I'm down for spider pants. All right, so now I get good job. Are you choosing Thanks. what to say here? A little bit of- Yeah, um, there was dialogue options. Um, does it have any impact though? Player, players love dialogue options, makes you feel like you're in control of what's going on. So long as you see some consequences. So is this gonna work if you 
do something a bit different, right. Mass Effect style, and then it leads to some kind of different result. It, it seems to affect the dialogue, but maybe it doesn't affect it doesn't the affect. game. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's take her yeah. mission. Let's start. Guards will shoot on sight. The cursor turns red in areas guards can see. Jump on a guard to pin him to the ground. All right. I like jumping. <laughs> I'll just navigate <laughs> the level jumping. I like doing that. All right. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Take that. yeah. That's oh, that fun. Cool. I can keep clicking the punch. <laughs> That's a cool moment, actually. That's the sort of thing you'd have on your, your marketing video. Into Honestly, the face. I feel like the game should have started with that. Because that yeah. was cool. Like, yeah. that initial part was a little confusing, but, like, jumping on a dude and punching him feels yeah. somewhat intuitive. <laughs> It'd have more of a win, wouldn't it? Because as it was, you were sort of in a very safe environment. You were running around the outside of the building trying to figure out what was going on in right. that very first level. But, yeah, that moment of... You know, take out the guard. You're like, how do I take out the guard? Right. Damn. Okay, so this, I believe I have to turn off the lights. And then the guards He's like, come looking for it. it. Can I jump over him? Okay, <laughs> I can I can just, I can Why pull some skills. Why did you smash into him? Oh, okay. Oh, he oh. shot me. Oh, oh, okay. Low to saved game. Uh, Four seconds, eight seconds. Oh, which, that's really cool. That's a winner. It saves Because they know few seconds. in this... In this puzzle sort of game that you don't want to go the whole way back to the start i think you should smash into him oh that's right yeah totally okay so give him that's the, open a, the that's door. A, yeah and then get him spider and punch him spider, spider, punch him punch i keep him. punching him over <laughs> and over and over there we go send the right message to the kids out there yeah all right so um, actually so this little level this little level made me like this game way more like the, the, mm. the everything I played up until this point has been like, uh, yeah. okay, okay, you're stringing me along. This little level though was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. I like, I like. Okay, I'm starting to get. How do you, these do you work. think the game should have had this moment earlier? Like you've had, you've been going for whatever five or ten minutes, and you've been like, uh, a lot of players would be like, oh, pfft, done. I want my money back. You know, if they're not enjoying it after. Five yeah, minutes. if if I wasn't on video right now, being completely honest, I'm. I mean, depending on how much I paid for it, I <laughs> might, <laughs> I might uh, treat it differently. But yeah, I, yeah. I'm into this now. I'm actually, hmm. I don't. But then, but then the question is, would you be? Because you had that that low point. This is the in like the beat chart in a level. If you just if you're ten the whole time, ten out of ten excitement, then you don't get the opportunity to have the lull, and then really appreciate right. and enjoy the good bits. So you start off with with a bit that was a bit softer. And then you had that, whoa, that bit was cool. Would that, whoa, that bit was cool. Would that have had as much impact if you'd started with that? Uh, that's a good question. I guess we'll never know the answer to that. But um, <laughs> I I didn't know what the game was, I guess, at first mm. until kind of that moment. And I'm like, oh, okay, I take out the guards to get the thing. That makes right. sense. I found an upgrade screen. So this makes oh, me even more interested because now I'm I like, I love okay. upgrades. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want a bullfrog jump. I want charge bullfrog. up time. Bullfrog's a cool word. I like that. Yeah. Use spider pants. Oh, you got cool little devices. Rewire oh, electronic yeah. awesome. devices. Oh, hey, we're having a little bit of a video <laughs> gamer, video gamer <laughs> nerdgasm here. It's like you know, putting upgrades into your game. I don't know anyone who doesn't like upgrades. Yeah, so upgrades are so good. It's pretty great. So I don't generally like to talk. I just want to do your mission. I want to. Yeah. I want to take out your spy people and hack your systems. So did I'm you have to do, do the talk then? Did you just skip the whole? The I, well, whole there was an accept mission button, or I could talk okay. to her. Like I don't really care okay. what she has to say, so I just accept yeah. the mission. That's cool. You get the choice. Then you feel in control because you had the choice. Do I hear her? Oh yeah, carry on, oh. or do I skip it? Okay, okay. so click I have a crosslink mode where I can click and drag a line from any device to link it to any other. If you link from the switch to the door, the switch can open the door. Direction matters. Mm. Linking the other way around won't do anything. Okay. What do you think that moment just there, that little tutorial moment, does that take you out of the immersion of the game by having it just like it's a pop-up tutorial as opposed to like a message over the radio or a secret plans you pick up or something? Or like does it in not theme matter? Or like game? Yeah. 
I always used to make fun of my brother because we used to play Metal Gear Solid and it would say, uh, Snake, press the action button. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> You're like a secret spy in an underground base, but he's telling you to press the action button. Yeah. Um, I think I think there's always a better way to do it. I, I don't think there's always an easier way to do it, though. And I think sometimes you got to go with... Like, this does the job, right? So, yeah. if you yeah. got dev resources, you got to put somewhere else. Like, this makes sense. Um, mm, yeah. It, it could be a billboard that you run past. A little bit of that kind of suspension of disbelief that there would actually be a billboard in the world telling you what to do. That's another way, you know, written on the wall. I think when we are playing Ape Out, there was a little bit of stuff written on the wall. Um, so long as it doesn't detract from what's going on, I think it's okay. See, I'm getting this now. I hooked the switch to the door, and then I pressed the mm. switch, and the door opened. Yeah. I'm starting. I'm starting to see what this game is about. The the okay, first so levels didn't really mm -hmm. give me that vibe, you know. It's a little bit of a slow burn, I guess. Yeah. Then jump through the, window, through the window like a superhero. Yeah. yeah. Well, because if you're here playing this game, someone's told you about it, or you've you've read something that you like puzzle type games. And if you like puzzle type games, maybe you should be getting into it quicker. Like right from the start, connect the wire. You're like, oh, that's cool. Punch the right. guy in the face. Rather than having too gentle a start, um, it's it's back to the conversation. Do you treat your players like they've been playing games for many years or do you, do you say, well, no one's left behind. I'm gonna make sure everyone really gets what I'm doing here. You brought up a good point though. The, the, the uh, before the game moment is important too. The way, the way we started this was, I've heard of this game, I don't know anything about this game, let me jump in. The way people buy games is not like that. They don't just like roll the dice and buy a game and then open it up and figure out what it is. So yeah. you they go into it listening to what you tell them the game is, mm -hmm. right? So that moment is pretty important. And if you're a puzzle fan and you go into this game thinking about a puzzle, maybe you would have approached the opening sequence a little bit different than I did. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah. And you know, because you've seen at least one video of it or you've seen a couple of images and you know there's going to be guards and security wires and all that kind of stuff at some point. Yeah. Oh. Punch, punch, him, punch him, punch him, punch him. I like that. <laughs> all right, so let's go into... I like the... Mode. Just looking at it now, the, the production, you know, I love the thinking about the production elements of these things that you've got... A, an image at the back there. I haven't seen any parallax parallax scrolling, so I don't know if that's going on, but it's just an image at the back. And then it's just a puzzle at the front, but it all it all fits. Like when you go into this view, you can tell, well, that's just literally a box, a little puzzle box that's sitting yeah. thematically on top of the skyline. But in those first couple of levels, it felt very integrated. It's only just now that I'm seeing it for what it is. It's a little bit more of a um, you know, just a puzzly gameplay sitting on top of the background world. Yeah, that makes it, sense? yeah, it does. And another thing that you probably can't hear because you can't hear the audio is when I go into this mode, it's mm. the same song, but it's like a digital version of the song. Oh, so yeah. it's kind of switching and it gives me a different vibe. That's um, cool, yeah. Yep. So I get the vibe that when I go up there, he's going to see me and shoot me. So I got to close this door. But I how can rewire it? Can you re, re rewire things from downstairs here, or you'd have to be right I next to the thing? I did, but this is a hand scanner, so I can't. Act oh, this is a switch. Okay, so I can go here to the switch and then activate the switch. And I close the door, and now I can go up, do my spider jump, and oh, I got to turn off the lights though. That's Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, now it's switch. starting to get to the point where I I can see the joy in this. It's the it is a puzzle. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to switch this and then leapfrog out of here. Run! Right. Oh, here he comes. Open and the door. Get him. Tackle him. Punch! 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 <laughs> and then run and hack hack the computer system. Do you have to punch him ten times or just once? <laughs> I, I don't have to punch him 10 times, but I have a lot of rage in hey, me. Hey, no, no, ju no judgment here, man. You punch him as many times as you want. This <laughs> so, is your game you're playing. It's completely optional, but I punch a lot. Punching optional. Yeah. I love this little, like, leap. Is it the same background every time? Uh, I don't know. We'll see in out. a second. I just like we'll try upgrading to my stuff. Right, have you I noticed an afford... impact from upgrading? 
this is one of my one of my bugbears. I was saying before, I love upgrading. If you upgrade and then you don't feel the difference, I forget who it was. I think it was Sid Meier's or one of those legends of the industry was talking about. You know, if you give someone uh, an upgrade ability or a new thing that they can get or, or an, a different option, make it that it increases by fifty percent. Don't right. give them. A, it's like beefy. Don't give them an extra two percent because then you don't notice it. You don't. You, you, you don't care about it anymore. So yeah. Um, yeah. I was playing a game the other day where it's like I bought an upgrade that did six percent, and I was like, I literally don't even <laughs> notice it, and yeah. it was expensive. So these, I think, are like the the number increases, but in the shop, these are where I get like special abilities and okay, that I can so buy. Okay, you'll, so you'll actually get a different thing. Yeah, that's cool. Wait. I like that. Mm -hmm. Although this, that's, a, that's a feature. So from a scope point of view, in terms of how much time it takes to make your game, each one of those new cool things often requires a bunch of new programming or some logic or or artwork whereas right. the up upgrade is often just a tuning number it's a it's a really cheap way of giving extending your playability so if you jump at the moment and your jump height is what you know four lengths of the character and if you go and upgrade your your jumpy pants and it goes from four character lengths to eight character lengths you know character heights and you're like wow that right. was an impact that's just a number in, in your tuning of your game, just the, the jump Yeah, height. totally. So I, I did notice, remember I couldn't jump through the the, floor, the window at first, mm. but now oh, I can. that other one, yeah. I think so I can. get that guy. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> I died. He shot he's, me the he's second. Sta he's standing up there looking at you. He's like, who's that guy down on the street? What's he looking oh. up at me for? He's jumping at me! <laughs> I got so excited. <laughs> it's just like, boom. At least we know That's it's good. I'm glad, he, I'm glad he did that. Yeah, me too. Cause, okay, this game's serious. Like, I can't, I can't mess with them. I get it now. Yeah. I'm glad I can't brute force a game, cause that t happens to be the way I play puzzles a lot of times. And I've played games where, like, clearly there's a puzzle and I'm supposed to solve it, but like, I can solve it by doing the same thing over and over again rapidly. I yeah. don't like that. So I'm glad that there's, like, yeah. that's there to tempt you, right? It's mm. there on purpose, which is cool. Yeah, you want the game to feel smart as well, not just the player. Right. Okay. Right, so, so this is this is getting more complex. I'm getting the gist of the game now, and I imagine there'll be new features rolled out as we go along. Like we've been introduced to the guard, you can tackle to the doors up and down to the rewiring things. I wonder if there's something beyond rewiring and smacking guards, or whether it's just here it is, and we're going to have more complex puzzles as time goes on. I feel like this is a good solid game though this rewiring because it's like okay i gotta i gotta do like this feels like the whole game the yeah. and that's why it was weird to me it's like i feel like the game didn't tell you that for a while yeah yeah you've got to you've got to hook people with your well this is the trade-off isn't it tim do you hook people with your strongest strongest aspect of your game or do you let them discover it after a little while generally indie game developers i would give the advice take your strongest strongest best most awesome part of your game and give it to people right at the very start don't make it a surprise because the amount of um drop off as people play your game you know 10 percent are going to drop off in the first five minutes just making the numbers up i don't know what they are and another 10 percent are going to drop off in the next 10 minutes of the game and so if you've got your cool thing after 15 minutes so many people won't see it they won't get to that point yeah i agree i mean i think that's always one of those questions where like there's never a perfect answer. Oh, wait, I can. Hi, uh, you're in trouble. Oh, what's he doing? He's like... Oh, I'm I'm in the elevator. You can't tell. Oh, but yeah, now he's I'm out. That way. Man, punch, 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 punch. Well, and that's a bit silly because he he would have looked in the elevator. <laughs> but not to worry. I mean, when I when I leapt four floors into a window. Mm -hmm. I felt like realism was was off the table at that point. Valid, but you're wearing jumpy pants, so that's. I mean, that's true. They could exist. They could be a thing. Okay, a door. Yeah. Oh wait, there's another console I got to hack. Okay, so hold on. Let me. That's a really good point about suspension. Suspension of realism. I know, I was working uh, on a project where um, it was overseen by the the creative guys at Nintendo and they're so the reason they're so amazing is they're like I don't know, if it's fun and cool whatever just do it like 
you know, a little guy floating in the cloud with a fishing rod, pulling people out of the water in their, in their race car, whatever, who cares? Just do it. It's quirky and it's awesome. So yeah. sometimes we get too caught up on, but would that actually be how a computer works? And, you know, is that, a, how can, how's he reaching to rewire? Who cares? It's a game. Yeah. You know? I mean, it, that's, it's a video game. That's, that's the, the answer. Yeah. Right. Okay. So Rick, what, as a, as an observer, what do you think makes it work? I like the theme. I like it all connects together. Um, maybe you can go into one of the gameplay screens while we're, while we're kind of wrapping this up. Um, well, I like the upgrades, but the upgrades are a little bit of, that's the cherry on top. That's not the meat of it. Um, I think it's the sort of thing that's going to work based upon the, the level design and the puzzles. So yeah. the features themselves aren't like, whoa, the, the visuals aren't, whoa, but everything works together. It, you're a spy, you're breaking into things, you're trying to get from A to B. So it's cohesive. I like the cohesiveness of it. There's no bits that pop out saying that doesn't make sense or that doesn't fit. So I like the cohesiveness. Um, I like the the fact that you're pretty agile and nimble. You can bounce around. You don't have to like slowly, slowly, slowly walk to different spots. I think that's very cool. Um, and there seems to be a cleverness in figuring out the puzzles. Yeah. Uh, from you? my what? perspective, I it makes me feel smart. Mm. It makes me feel smart. And mechanically, I just love this little Spider-Man jump. Yeah, this, it's cool. It's, that just feels solid. Uh, it's interesting if if someone out there is wanting to make a puzzle game there's there's minimum point of entry you have to have some sort of reason that the player wants to solve the puzzle aside from hey just solve the puzzle but i don't think it needs to be super complex like we don't know i don't know who this guy is i don't know like he's a spy that's it like that's as far as you need to go someone's saying go do a thing like right here i'll go do the thing so i think it's shown us that you don't need to have massive backstory and massive complexity it's just you're a spy go do a thing that's enough i reckon yeah i think so i think we we found that on ape out too where it's just mm. it's you're an ape and you're yeah. smashing people and that's yeah. that's how life is yeah uh, what's the name of this gunpoint gunpoint yeah gunpoint. The, it's really tough to to figure out names of games it can take forever ape out excellent name like really good it's really good because you're an ape and you're trying to escape. Ape escape, I'm sure they played around with that, but ape escape's too cheesy, right? Um, but this game, Gunpoint, I don't get that because you don't have a gun and it does, that, the name doesn't quite work for me. It doesn't quite fit. It doesn't break the whole thing. It's cool, it's good, you know, it, it, it's right. okay, but it doesn't consistently, uh, consistency and thematically, it doesn't quite match the rest of the game, I feel. I would agree. And you tell me a game called Gunpoint. This is not what I expected at all. No, no. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get some guns and put people at gunpoint. That's what I thought. Like so this, I this game, I, I mean, this, did, what am I trying to say here? Uh, eight things went through my head in terms of, well, but you've got to look up to see if the website's available and if there's another game that has the name. But all of those things aside, a name like Rewire would make sense. Yeah, you know, it, I agree. It, it, it would immediately tell you, hey, I'm going to play a game called Rewire. In those first couple of levels, you'd be sitting there going, I wonder when I rewire something. You wouldn't be sitting there saying, what do I do in this game? Where's the gun? Gunpoint? Why am I gunpoint? So, yeah, you know, that sort of name, Rewire, I think would fit a bit better. I can totally see how, though, these puzzles will get legit. Like, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. I'm already mm. stumped. I don't know how to <laughs> the building. I have yeah. no idea. Uh, so I can get how like this this would definitely work. And like I said, when I did solve the stuff, it made me feel smart. I think yeah. this uh, this game works really well with the the programmer fixer builder side of my brain, where it's like mm. I want to like wire stuff, like you said, rewire stuff. Uh, and I think this appeals to me. I actually think I'm gonna play this a little bit more. It it did start a little slow. I feel like it could have got me into it better. Um, yeah. But I. I like what I've played so far. I really, really do. The other thing, I one last thought is, if you're saying, wow, this is getting really difficult, that's awesome. When you're making a game, I think it's critical to delight some people and 
and annoy or be not interesting to other people. Don't try to have everyone love your game. People who aren't into puzzles are gonna play this game like, ah, oh, it's too hard, I don't like it. Good, get the heck out of here, it's a puzzle game. People who like puzzle games are gonna be like, finally, a, a challenging puzzle game, and they'll they'll buy your game and they'll be excited by it. So it sounds like they, the reason that people love this game is because it's a really good thinking challenge. It makes you feel smart when you solve it. Rick, I just, I wired the camera to the door. <gasps> now, see what I mean about feeling smart? Ah. This game does a good job. Yes, nice. this is what I need in a game. I think this game works, and I think the just the feeling of smart, like forget everything else we talked about. Making a player feel smart in a puzzle game, I think is an amazing, important quality. And Super I think important. this game did that. Yeah. Excellent. Great work. Well, thanks for running us through that, Tim. And uh, thanks for you guys, as always, for watching. And leave comments below about what you reckon about the game. And if you have anything you want us to do next up, then let us know. Yeah, let us know your thoughts down below. What do you think makes it work? Because it's not just about what we think. What do you think? Uh, make sure you you like, comment, and subscribe, and go over to Rick's channel if you're not there already, and all that and great go over stuff. To Tim's channel, yeah, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. We'll be back. We'll be See back again time. with another video. See you later.